walked into the UN Security Council prepared to discuss Afghanistan on Monday. The Iranian ambassador covered all the bases. Speaking of the recent trilateral summit meetings between Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, his strongest words, perhaps, were saved for American attempts to spy on Iran from U.S. bases in Afghanistan, exposed a week ago by Iran's capture of a U.S. spy drone. This act of blatant military air aggression was unprovoked and in contravention of all universally accepted existing international norms relating to sovereignty and inviolability of airspace of sovereign countries. Khazai added that though he hopes this intrusion will be the last act of spycraft over Iran, it's certainly not the first, and he sent a letter to UN leadership detailing the Islamic Republic's objections. The U.S. has admitted that the drone that Iran is in possession of is indeed American. Last week, in his year-end press conference, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon passed on the opportunity to condemn the violation. I do not have much to say about all this. What kind of... Uh uh, means the member states uh, they use. Uh, well, this is something you know which uh, national governments, uh, military authorities, uh, they may they may decide. Uh, I do not have any comments on that. Yeah. On Monday at the UN press, TV asked one of Ban's assistant spokesmen if this non-statement was still Ban's position, and the spokesman read from a pre-printed statement. Oh no, he, he he gave an opinion, but uh, but in order to to just flesh it out, what I'll I'll just mention, basically what he said, which is the the use of drones has been debated. Countries that use this kind of technology should fully assess the implications of their use, under applicable international law, including human rights and humanitarian law. And the problem apparently isn't just aerial drones. In the Security Council and here at the Security Council, stakeout Khazai accused the U.S. of spying on Iran using foot patrols emanating from American bases in Afghanistan. And that leads to Khazai's main point in the Security Council, which is that American bases in Afghanistan have not stabilized the region. In fact, he says they've done the opposite. So in Afghanistan, in general, uh, military bases in Afghanistan in general have become a source of instability in the region. Uh, I therefore uh, announced our objection and we said that uh, we believe that military forces and foreign forces should leave Afghanistan as soon as possible and it would benefit Afghan people as well. The U.S. war in Afghanistan has lasted longer than 10 years. The estimated cost of the war is estimated so far to be nearly half a trillion American dollars. According to a press release from Human Rights Watch out on Monday, American CIA drone strikes have become an almost daily occurrence around the world, but little is known about who is killed and under what circumstances. Hank Flynn